So today I want to go through and showcase some crappy rain shirt installs. Uh, as an electrician, we install rain shirts and uh, we like to take pride in our work, but we also like to have fun laughing at other people who've done a crappy job. Um, so why don't we start with a, um, a good one. Um, this rain shirt, um, someone did something pretty impressive. They they got a custom, uh, into a metal fabricator and got them a custom bend and create this uh, piece of steel shaped like the ducting. So normally they just come with a vertical bit of ducting and then they had it powder coated. Probably cost a lot, a lot of effort, but the end result's pretty nice. Normally in these sorts of situations, I encourage them to put cupboards in and then we can mount the range to the bottom of the cupboard or put an integrated range shirt in. This photo is one of my favorites for a long time now. This is in a Korean restaurant and a Korean restaurant's fine. You know, they have the like cooking thing on the table and so they got to take the fumes away. I think, you know, it's probably law. I was actually doing electrical work in the restaurant. The company I was working for was installing big fancy ducting that looked a lot better than this. So I have fun with this photo every time somebody comes to me or I see in a Facebook discussion group, somebody's asking for a solution of how to put a range hood in a place where, you know, the window's in the way or something like that. And I show them this photo basically to troll them. Um, nobody's ever taken me up on the suggestion, but it's definitely an easy way to get a range hood in a, in a location where it's difficult. And it would do the job if you had good suction on that. I guess the only problem is there's not much of a filter there. Um, so it would probably fill up with grease pretty fast. Uh, this was in a rental we did some work in. It's, um, I mean, other than the power cord, we, we actually did a job there. We um, we put a proper power point on, it for, on the wall for it so that cord's not running down the side there. Uh, other than that, I think it's, that's probably a 100 mil plumbing pipe. I think it's pretty impressive. You know, it's it's not the prettiest thing, but I've seen worse. You know, it's kind of, you know, they've they've got that little white thing around it. They, they put a bit of effort into that. They should probably should have rotated it so that the, um, the writing is un not visible. Uh, this one was funny. So I went there because the oven was getting replaced and I had to wire the new oven in. And um, <laughs> well, as there, he's also asking me to put a PowerPoint on the wall for his range shot. I'm like, no, no, that's not how we do it. Uh, we put the power inside the, Look from the ceiling, so you don't see the cable at all. It's just totally hidden by the, the metal trunking on the range hood. So the old oven had a power point on the side, and this cable obviously just reached onto the side of the oven, on the old oven. Um, but this install is pretty funny. Like, they've munted up the side. Uh, have I, got, I thought I had more photos of this one. They munted up the side in order to get the cable out there. The top looks horrendous. I haven't got a photo of that. And this plastic film, after you install it, you take the plastic film off, so you've got a pristine surface, but you can see somebody started taking it off and then decided it was too much work and gave up. So they definitely got, don't get any points for effort on this install. Yeah, this one's funny. Somebody's had a bit of a hack job of it. You can see all their attempted holes that they gave up on and then they made a hole over there. You could have done this well with this sort of ranger, but you would have had to mount it to this beam. There's enough space behind the beam that you could fit the ducting and go straight into the ceiling. Yeah, you go into the ceiling. I, yeah, yeah, it's a flat ceiling, so you could go straight in the ceiling and then go out through the feet, but you know, the, all the holes they've made and not even bothered to repair. And it's not even hanging level. That's the funniest part. All that effort. Uh, somebody spent a lot of effort getting that thing up and they didn't even bother to hang at level. So this one was fun. We, I got asked to go and duct that range hood externally. I posted an electrician's group with a troll post saying, what, what are the rules about um, running ducting past the switchboard? Um, which uh, <laughs> you gotta be careful posting in a group like that because somebody might think you're, uh, it's a serious question and then you could get roasted, but yeah, you're not you're not allowed to have a range hood uh, and a switchboard above a stove like that because it needs to be accessible and uh, above a cooking surface is not considered accessible because when there's an electrical emergency, it could be a fire on the stove and the last place you want to be needing to go to turn the power off is right above that fire. Um, <laughs> What we ended up doing here was moving the switchboard, which was the more expensive option. My suggestion was that we move the oven. Uh, I found a spot where we could put the oven, where we could put a range hood in with external ducting and get the power there. But they they opted for moving the switchboard, which cost a couple grand. So this is one I got from a Facebook group. Um, the way to do that nicely is you can buy additional pieces of that metal ducting to run the rest of the height, or you can mount the range hood a bit higher. Mounting it higher is not great because then you get less suction on the cooking surface and the um, steam and oils and whatnot have more chance to escape around the room rather than going straight into the range hood. Yeah, this is one I saw in a range hood. We were there uh, to put a PowerPoint in for the spa and I just saw this really crappy um, trunking job. It's not even straight. It doesn't join up properly. It's, it's horrible. Uh, and this is the outside. Um, so that's not waterproof. Normally you have a cowl on there that doesn't let the rain in and it has a flap to reduce wind coming into. 
And uh, this one I just found on Facebook just before I recorded this video. I tried to see, tried to see if I could scrounge up any more crappy Range Hood install photos. Um, and I found this one. Problem here is, one, I would like to see the backside of these this because these fans are not designed to have ducting joined onto them. There are ways you can connect a duct to it, but they're not designed for it. Um, oh yeah, the other problem with this one here is there's no filter, so that fan's just gonna fail pretty soon. It'll clog up with grease. Uh, yeah, this was posted in a community page a couple of years ago. Um, someone paid to have a range hood installed and they came home to this. So when you're installing a range hood, often there's timber in the way, all, all sorts of things. So if you could just put it off center, life would be a lot easier, but you can't. This is terrible. I can't believe anyone would do that. That's so bad. <laughs> Obviously the customer was not happy. Uh, yeah, this one's just a cable coming out the side. That's the problem. Um, probably wasn't put in by an electrician. Um, it's not safe for obvious reasons. Uh, you know, you're cooking here and you've got a cable draped across the top. Oh yeah, this one, uh, recirculating range hood. Um, somebody's gone to great effort to put this cow there. That cow should go on the exterior of the building, but basically this range hood is just a filter. But you can actually buy recirculating range hoods and maybe that's what this is. They're a complete waste of time in my opinion. So what you get from them is, you know, a cold bit of steel catches some grease and you can add carbon filters to them so they catch more grease, change the carbon filter every so often and clean that. So you're removing a little bit of grease from the air, but it's not getting rid of the smells and it's not getting rid of um, the moisture. So this one's actually a good range hood install. Um, this, this range hood's been here for 15 or 20 years. I was there because they wanted me to replace a part on it. Unfortunately, the part that they'd organized for it wasn't the right one because a bit of plastic had actually snapped, not the switch mechanism itself. But I, I was pretty impressed with the, the stainless steel ducting. Somebody drilled a nice hole on the side. You can't see in this photo, but I mean, it's, it's a, a Adobe or I think it's an Adobe building. So you haven't got really many options for getting ducting outside, but somebody took some real pride in this job and um, did it with some real skill. I was impressed. So that's all for this video. If this one gets a good response, I might make a few more. Maybe I'll respond to some other kinds of crappier electrical or I can showcase some really good range hood installs. I'm Alex Gallagher, an electrician in Auckland, and I'll catch you in the next one.